You're welcome back. Many thanks that you stayed with us. In the meantime, the Methodist Church Ghana says the Methodist Church said it played no part in the selection of a location for the new National Cathedral. That is what the new presiding bishop of the Methodist Church Ghana has revealed. According to the Right Reverend Dr. Paul Kwabnabuafu, the Methodist Church, which is represented on the Board of Trustees for the Cathedral, had no hand in deciding where the new cathedral will be located. In an exclusive interview, the newly appointed presiding bishop told Kojo Yangsen that it was government who initiated the idea. Um. I would say that the, the composition of the committee that is building uh, the Methodists are represented. And uh, our, our role is to help in facilitating this, this building, which we think is a national asset that should come to all of us. And it's not a building for just one denomination, but it's, it's, it's a nation that is building and it is for all of us. That is why we see our role as very phenomenal, as very critical to be part of it, because we need uh, the presence of God in governance, the presence of God in our country. And if we also believe that the country is uh, mostly uh, Christian, then uh, such an event or a project, we should throw our weight behind it and make it possible. Who came up with the idea? Uh, who, who, who initiated this idea? Well, this, this uh, from what I know, came from uh, the, the government. Yeah, and he had to put a committee together, of which my uh, predecessor was part. And so he, he was representing us on the committee. So the government came to churches and said, we need a cathedral. And the churches said, yes, we'll pay for it. Oh. Well, uh, for for that much, I cannot vouch out for, for it, whether they just came and said we needed a cathedral. And There's you know. been a lot of talk about the location. What do you think uh, of where they want to place it? Uh, I think structures of this nature will have to be uh, placed strategically so that uh, accessibility and um, Yes, people can easily walk in and out, and then you don't make it very difficult for people to, to go in. Mm -hmm. And uh, those who are in charge, the committee looks at the uh, place as very strategic, and they think that, yes, this is the place where people from all walks of life can have easy access to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, um, the controversy also has been about the fact that they are going to have to clear some, you know, structures in order to put it there. You know, has the church been part of any of such decisions? Have you been aware that this is the because we were told actually that it is the committee that chose the yeah. location, okay. and the government then worked to make it available. Right. So, in your capacity, what can you tell us about how the role the church has played in? Uh, you know, selecting this location and so forth. Well, for for the lo the choice of the location uh, has not come to us for any discussions yet. As a Methodist people, yeah, it has not come to us yet. So uh, the choice, well, since it's made up of a number of uh, people from all the denominations, the consensus was uh, arrived at, and then. So I think that that is how they came by that. Uh, but you mentioned point. that the committee is chaired by the um, outgoing presiding bishop. No, is that right? no, uh, past. A oh, past, the past. Yes, a past. Mm -hmm. uh, who is if, even uh, on superannuation or who is right, retired? Now. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay, but he hasn't communicated any of those details no, with, with the no, church. Not yet. No. Do you think that the church making a decision to build? Uh, a cathedral when we have so many social ills that you are unable to help with do you think that is um, uh, in the in the words that are commonly used is that what Jesus would do <laughs> as a nation if we should also come to terms with this and the government come in and say no oh, uh, why can't we have something like this yeah. The, the, the church would, would, would readily support. But when it comes to the funding as to uh, who is to do it, that's why I say that uh, maybe the press conference will give us the details 
I don't have the details yet. Right Reverend Dr. Boafo there speaking to Kojo Yansin. He also tells Choi News that the church had not been asked to contribute to the funding of the cathedral. He called on government to be transparent in communicating the source of the cathedral's funding. Uh, as to the payment, uh, that, that aspect to I need, I need some further clearance from my predecessor. Right. But I, I believe that uh, it, it, it's a national asset and where the funding is, is coming from, uh, I know of individuals who have made pledges to, uh, to support it. But as to the government taking money from uh, government coffers, and they have not come to us as a church that we should come with this quantum of money to support. Mm -hmm. Yes, the church, we are also there for social interventions. And uh, you mentioned the hospitals. If you take the hospitals scattered all over the country, we can say that even for the Methodists alone, we are contributing a high percentage of care uh, and uh, preventive measures when it comes to health. And we need to support the hospitals, build them up, and make people uh, healthy. Yes. And so the little that we can do to support it, we are doing. We are doing. And the churches are always commended for what they, they do. You take our friends, the Catholics, the Presbyterians, and the others, they are all helping in that regard. Um, Maybe what we will need, what I will say to end this, is that the, the funding or who is to support it is what should come out clearly to Ghanaians so that we get to know that this is where the money is coming from, this is how it's going to be used, and this is how. So that it's, it's made very transparent, made very transparent. So that is the new presiding bishop of the Methodist Church, Ghana. Well, let's have a conversation on this. Very soon, like I said, we'll be going to the, flag, uh, to the Jubilee House to bring you updates on that meeting that went on. We'll also bring you uh, the Archbishop's son by. But uh, I have in the studio with me Abdul Fatah Tuahe Akinwele. Akinyele. Akinyele. Thanks for the anyway. correction. Uh, he's the executive. <laughs> thank you. He's an executive member of the Coalition of Muslim Organizations of Ghana. And they actually have issues. They, 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 they are objecting uh, the building of that cathedral. And they're linking it to something quite interesting. They're linking it to uh, the annual pilgrimage to Mecca. You're welcome. Thank you very much. OK. So you have put out this press statement in which you raise concerns about government, what you're calling government interference in religious activities. What really is your concern? Why is it such a bother? Why is it such a problem? Yeah, thank you very much for this opportunity. And first of all, before I go to the question you've raised, I need to create a, uh, an impression. Um, we are not against the putting up of the National Cathedral. Okay. Uh -huh. that, is, that point has to be made clear. But the government involvement and sponsorship and uh, um, uh, it's not even very clear to many people uh, as to the exact uh, involvement, mm. the levels of involvement of the government. And I think even some of the Christian uh, leaders have spoken mm -hmm. about this issue. Um, we have had this concern for so many years now. If you say, sorry, if you say you are not against it. Yes. Your release that you that I have here yes. clearly tells me that you are you are against it. Not the putting up of the structure. We have two issues here. A cathedral to be put up for a non-denominational activity, mm -hmm. of course, which will also be available to the state. As against the the Christian body themselves coming up with this idea of putting up the cathedral. Okay. In this case, the Christian body itself is the one that is sponsoring in terms of fun funding. That okay. is the issue that I'm raising here. So your issue because is government funding of that project. Precisely. That is the problem for you. Precisely. Okay. And, okay. and, and I think the government, uh, like uh, I was just hearing from the right reverend Dr. Boafo, 
Yeah. Right. It's, all, it's calling on government to come out transparently. To, to, uh, he, to, he's to, asking government to you know, be, be transparent, transparent about the funding. Precisely. Mm. And you can see that it's not only a voice that is coming from the Muslim community. Because we've also had issues where people continually are saying that government is sponsoring our pilgrimage to Mecca. You see? So it's been a running issue. It's not a new issue. Okay. But it's, it's good that it is coming at this time that it's coinciding with the supposed, uh, okay. you know, construction of a, of a national cathedral. Because but are they not of so course, different let, let's things? Let's also make the point clear, you know? Mm. We have, Ghana is a multicultural and religious society. Right. So every religious uh, body, people have the right to, to construct edifices that will befit I mean, they, 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 are, they are worship. So nobody can take it away from the Christians if they want to have such a cathedral. In fact, I will suppose such an idea. We have current one that is being put, a magnificent one at Kanda. You can see it when you are moving towards the, the airport. mosque. Yes, mm. this is being funded by private organizations from Turkey. No mm. government is involved as is being peddled by some political and shenanigans and making all manner of misguided statements. So the position of the Muslim Association yeah. is that is that government should not fund the construction of a cathedral. That if it should go ahead, because you have other issues as well about mm -hmm. the siting of the cathedral itself, which you, you, you enumerate here in your yeah. in your yes, statement. You captured. say yeah. you say that the decision of the government mm -hmm. to destroy state buildings, including homes, housing judges of the appeals court, the scholarship secretariat, the passport office, and the judicial training institute, some of which were built only five years ago to make way for the construction of a private religious edifice constitute a wanton destruction of state property. So you have you don't you're saying that government should back off, not be a part of this construction of the construction of the cathedral. You're saying that it should not even be cited there. Do you have an alternative? Of course, even coming from what even uh, the right reverend was just saying a while ago. The Christian bodies were not even consulted in the process of even citing of the cathedral. Okay. So there are issues that I think the government must actually, I mean, come to terms with and deal with and with deal those with. Issues. Okay. Because even if the Christian leaders are talking this way, I mean, you cannot be fault. I mean, fault any other group for for coming out. To speak, to, to speak it. against so uh, in, in this, this is a very prime I mean you, area. you know it's a very prime area and I think consultation and dialogue is very very key in all these things okay no. again again in your in your statement uh, you speak about how over the years you've been trying to get governments to back off ha the Hajj pilgrimage sure how far have you gone with that well we are still in the process and dialoguing and consulting with stakeholders and even the government uh, it's been almost two years now, and we believe, uh, and even by the, the content of the press statement, government will see that we attach a lot of uh, uh, urgency to this issue. Is, is uh, the timing because, not curious? What, how would you respond to those who say, look, you are saying this yeah. because uh, government is going to support the building of another religious sect? cathedral or, 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 or construct a place for another religious set and because it's not you you're trying to sort of strike an equalization by saying that we've told you to back off Hajj because government is involved in Hajj anyway yes um, I, I want to believe you you are in this country in 2000 and 2015 when the former president uh, Don Mahama you know came out with this bill to mm. sort of uh, Establish a national pilgrimage authority, and we even had a conference in December, you know. And interestingly, both the Christians and the Muslims kick against the bill. Okay. So it is a common ground that we actually share with the Christians. We can never say that we are against Christians having the the space, having the space to do their own thing. We can never take it away from even Hare Krishna or the traditionalists wanting to have the space to do their mm. own thing. Every religious body or people must be given unfettered access to the government. 
Mm. What government must do is to facilitate, particularly when it has to do with funding. Mm. Look, some of the pictures when you see around this country, my, my sister, you, you, you will agree maybe 2,000% <laughs> with all these issues that we are okay. raising. So, there are so much issues that government itself is saddled with. Christians are in the business of establishing universities, competing even with one single person. Otaba, we all know Central University. It's been claimed to be one of the best universities now in Ghana. I hope you've been to their Pram Pram campus before. No. Go there and see what uh, Otaba alone, a single person, is doing. I mean, it's been claimed that he even owns the the, the defunct bank, Capital Bank. It's not, it's not a so claim. He, he's, so a is, he's a board chairman. He's a board chairman. Or he was a board chairman. What I'm saying is government will be best advised to stay away from some of these projects. Because already we are moving in the area of what? Ghana beyond aid. We don't want to go back it. Okay. So okay. why if the Christians have the money? And I believe the Christians can build probably even an edifice beyond even what the president or the government is, is dreaming. Admission. Okay, okay. You Look have at Ekanda, sorry, it's just, just a minute. Look at Ekanda, mosque, edifice. This is not state funds. Yeah, that's the point. Individuals like me and you that, who that's are contributing. That's the point you made already. I like for $50 million to, dollar, uh, edifice. Right, i like for you to go through the demands that yeah. you are making going forward. How do sure. we move on from here? Yeah. What do we do? And there, 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 that's the building he's referring to. Yes. Uh, that's the mosque at Ekanda. Uh, One of its that's kind still, in the sub-region. <laughs> that's a bigger part, and that's still uh, <laughs> under construction. Uh, they, has it finished? Is it finished? It's almost finished. It's almost finished. Yes, it's almost right, finished. Yes. Right. So this is how many uh, how many people can can this building accommodate? Uh, I immediately can recall, but can accommodate close to a thousand people. I see. I see. Okay. So that's the building he's and referring to. School, mm. by it's by by eight. There's, there's a, a school. school. Yes, there's a school in there. Standard one. Senior high school. Senior in, high in school. There. Okay. So, so basically, I'm speaking to the Coalition of Muslim Organizations, Ghana. They have concerns with government funding a national yes, cathedral. Like that, they say that government mm -hmm. should step aside and allow the church to put this together. And he uses uh, the mosque at Kanda, the Kanda Central to mosque. the Kanda Central Mosque to to make the point that that was funded by individuals uh, from Turkey. He believes that looking at what churches have been able to do in this country, churches will be able to put up a cathedral, a national cathedral, if they so uh, wish, and that government should allow them to do so. I'm going to end with him. So uh, by having him go through the demands, they have, they've got some expectations of what has to be done going yeah, forward. Yeah. Uh, they've listed it here on the paper, but since he's here, I'll have him say it and go through it for us. So going on from here yeah. you have some expectations which you rightfully enumerating take us yes. through them yes of course but what do you called, want to see we've, happen we've called for transparency and accountability mm -hmm. it's been a running issue since 2005 when we even had the conference a national conference uh, unfortunately things have not been going as we would have expected but like i mentioned to you earlier on early on uh, we are still engaging the stakeholders we are in stay, uh, we are engaging with government and I believe this time his president, His Excellency Nana Kufado, is a listening president. I know uh, he will hear came to our plea and see to it that we get to the end of the tunnel of where we want to get to. I okay. mean, it's, it's it's not been an easy task, you know. Um, so so let's yeah. take it one after after the other yeah. on the issue of the of government stepping aside from the heart organization. Yes. You say that. Uh, they, you are calling on the Supreme, on the Chief Justice yeah. to empanel judges at the Supreme Court to hear a case that was brought against government involvement in the Hajj and the construction of the cathedral. Has there been any case against the construction of the cathedral sure, sent to court? Sure, sure. I, I think if I recall, there is the name of this CPP right. guy, Kabila. Okay. Yes, he is the one who has filed He's a gone suit. to court. Yes. yes. Okay. I mean, okay. Since so you are demanding that the so you are demanding that the chief of the, the the chief justice should empanel judges of Supreme Court. Yeah, of course. Even when you Supreme. when you recall, I mean, we have cited a, a provision in the constitution that seek to, uh, I mean, explain all these issues that we're talking about. That is barring government or the state from getting involved with religious projects you know 
So I believe it's in line with the issues that we've also been talking about all these years. And uh, if this issue has been, yeah, I mean, um, brought up and we've, there's a finality to, to read and there's a judgment, we would have, we you would not, to, probably yeah. would not be here talking about okay. all these issues. You're also demanding that President Kufuado and the promoters of the building of the cathedral uh, should halt the planned demolition exercise and any activities that will cause permanent damage to or loss of state property until the suit at the Supreme Court is heard. And you also want governments to return the mandate for the future organization of Hajj into the hands of Ghanaian Muslims. That has been our demand all these years. And I believe even the Christian leaders have been talking louder than us in this respect. Okay. Only yesterday there was uh, another Christian leader was talking about this sighting of the, the place. I mean, you are talking of demolition. It's going to involve cost. It's not going to be free. And then relocation. relocation demolition and relocation of the judges. You are relocating. Where mm -hmm. are you relocating to? Is it the churches who are going to the, pay we're, for we're the new that buildings that are going to be put up? No. Mm -hmm. It's the state that is going to find some money to put up those very luxurious. This time it's going to be more luxurious than what we are seeing. <laughs> And I wouldn't want to see Nana Akufuado pursuing such an agenda. I wouldn't want to see it happening during okay. Akufuado's reign. Again, one of the demands you're making is government should allow for the auditing of the accounts of the current and past Hajj boards. What's, what's happening there? Oh, I wish that one would be done with dispatch because there's a wastage. You know the pilgrimage, when do you even read our scriptures? God in his own wisdom says that it is only the rich who can perform the Hajj. Okay. So there is no don't... single person who performs a Hajj who is not rich, directly or indirectly. Because even if you are a poor person who is performing the Hajj, there is somebody behind you who is sponsoring you. How many people, I mean, can afford even a thousand dollar cash mm -hmm. down? And we are talking of... Uh, uh, a journey that is in the area of, let's say, about 5,000 US dollars. Conservatively, you pay about 3,450. You acquire the passport and all other things. You go there, you eat. So, so it's, it's a lot of uh, money. So what is the suspicion? You're asking for uh, uh, auditing of the accounts of current and past hard boards. Do you, what is the suspicion? Do you know that even AD, ADB, the hard operations was also one of the problems that was creating problems with the ADB. Because they were taking money, state money, and they were not paying. Okay. They were borrowing money from ADB and they were not paying. Go back to 2005. So government will be better off allowing Muslims to handle their own project. If they have any problem, they should now go to the government and say, government, we have this problem. So we know that they are incapable. But as long as they are capable of handling the Hajj, they are capable of the handling the Hajj. Okay. Why? Why should the government be How wasting the government? The state Your final resources? point, the final point that you make here, yeah. is government must provide evidence of the sponsorship it has given to the Hajj board and Muslims to perform Hajj during the past two years, as well as indicate the source of such funds. You say you find it wrong and unjustifiable that the government of Ghana should be involved in using resources, regardless of their sources, to sponsor Muslims for a pilgrimage that is reserved solely to Muslims who are financially uh, capable. capable. You have evidence that some sponsorship has gone you know, wrong? Well, there. this has this been a suspicion in, in the eyes of many, in the minds of many people out there. And I believe probably this is what is even fueling the, some of the perceptions out there that the government is wholly funding the hatch. You know, even before this government came into, into power, we heard about a debt close to about uh, 23 million Ghana cities. Between 23 to 25 million Ghana cities that was left by the previous Hajj, National Hajj Committee. Mm -hmm. And there was a promise that they were going to probe. All these uh, issues were going to be looked into. Okay. So if people, are Muslims, are paying for their Hajj, what is it that Where is, is accounting for for, okay. for, 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 okay. for for debts pile right. up and that kind right. of thing? No? So two main issues, yeah, yeah. that the uh, Coalition of Muslims Organizations uh, is raising. They're raising concerns about 
government involvement in religious activity, basically. So first of all, it's the Hajj pilgrimage. They want government to back off. They want government to audit the accounts of previous uh, and past Hajj boards because they have some suspicion that there's been some malfeasance there. They also want government to provide evidence of uh, sponsorship because people actually pay for their own trips to uh, the Holy Land. Well, let me take your very final wor words, Mr. Abdel Fatal. Yes, uh, my final words uh, will just be that um, these are these have been a very, I mean, a serious concern by civil society too. Mm -hmm. I mean, listening across the media and all the discussions that is going on, we, we are struggling. We are struggling. Ghana is struggling. We want to move towards Ghana beyond aid. You know, we don't have to be going begging people. Once people can sponsor their own projects, government should just facilitate. Okay. And and I think the same thing goes with, with the Hajj. And I know. I know that this current government is very passionate about some of these issues. It's just that probably it's taken some 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 years to 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 make sure that we get to 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 the to the promised land. But okay. I believe the, the, the government Nana Kufado is listening and the vice president is listening okay. and very soon things will happen in the right direction. All right. Thank, Thank you very much for your time. They yeah. do watch Joy News a lot, so yeah. I'm sure that they're listening and they will get the response. I've been speaking to Abdul Fattah Twai Akiwele, right? He is with the Coalition of Muslim Organizations, Ghana.